Say goodbye to Hollywood blockbusters because when anime steps into the action genre, that genre goes into a whole new level. You've got gunfights, sword fights, alchemy, hand to hand combat, or some genuine apocalyptic action with humanity's greatest soldier. As usual, we plan on bringing more videos in the future, so don't forget to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button along with the bell notification icon. Without any more wait, let's see 20 of the greatest action anime of all time. Number 20. Castlevania Let's kickstart the list with a Netflix anime. Castlevania is one of the first few anime to be released by Netflix, and it definitely needs a spot in our list for its unique story, animation, themes, as well as amazing soundtracks. This is based on the Japanese video game of the same name and tells the story of Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and Sifa Bolnades who defend the nation against the threat of Count Dracula, who sends demon armies to murder people and pillage cities. This is a must-watch for all gothic horror fans as the show delivers some amazing action sequences and a classic retelling of a different tale of Dracula. Combine it with the superb action scenes and you'll see what Netflix has done right this time. Consider this as a redemption for all the bad live-action anime movies Netflix has done. Number 19. Cabinary of the Iron Fortress Cabinary of the Iron Fortress comes next on our list. If you've fallen in love with shows like Attack on Titan or High School of the Dead, then Cabinary of the Iron Fortress is something that will surely capture you within seconds. Similar to Attack on Titan, humanity is now living in fear of zombies known as Cabinary, who survive on eating humans and the story follows a group of people who escape their hometown in a train as these monsters attack it. The show introduces us to an interesting cast that survives the odds of both the Cabinary and humans. The main theme of the show is survival and how humanity can only fight against the monsters by working together. If you want a show that can give you the same hype as Darwin's Game, then this should be the next show on your watch list. It is directed by the same director of Attack on Titan, so that's a bonus. Number 18. Black Clover I'm going to cover some shonen anime on this list, and what's a better way to start that off than with our favorite screaming wizard boy? Black Clover follows Asta, a young orphan who has no magical powers but aims high to become the Wizard King. He soon gains the mysterious Five Leaf Grimoire, and along with his friend and rival Yuno, follows on various adventures to become the one and only Wizard King. Trust me, the first few episodes of this show might put you off a little since it borrows many elements of the genre, but soon the show stands on its own legs with its impressive world building and well-written characters and mysteries. Number 17. Drifters Shimazu Toyohisa is a soldier who is mortally wounded at the Battle of Sekigahara. At his dying moments, he is transported into another world and finds himself in a group known as the Drifters. The Drifters are made of other powerful warriors like him and need to fight off the Ends, who wish to take over the world and kill all of the Drifters. Under the Ends' command is an arsenal of monsters ranging from giants to dragons. Drifters is one of the most underrated shows out there, and one you should definitely check out. It is created by the same man behind Helsing, so you get tons of blood, gore, a fast-paced story, some dark and twisted comedy, as well as some great quotes and philosophies thrown in between. Wars, warriors, blood, and brutal deaths mixed in with Isekai elements? Well, here you go! 16. Doro Hedoro.
Kingdoms, knights, and characters with chivalry are something common in fantasy. So why not we do something completely different? Dorohedoro tells the story of a man named Kane who is trying to find the sorcerer who erased his memory and turned his head into a lizard. In this world, humans and sorcerers are different species and the former lives in a hole and the latter lives in the world above and constantly threatens humans. The strength of this story lies in its world building, characters, and its evolving mystery. As Kane finds out who he is, he also unveils mysteries that could change the human and sorcerer worlds forever. With a brilliant concept and some memorable cast, this is one of those must-watch action anime released recently. Number 15, Devilman Crybaby. Of course, when we're talking about action anime, how can we ignore this modern classic? Devilman Crybaby is a new series to the original manga written back in the day. And once again, I'm proud to say Netflix has done this series justice. Ryo Asuka, the best friend of Akira Furo, tells him about the existence of demons. They stay mingled in with humanity and feed on them. On their visit to a nightclub, Akira is taken by the demon Amon, but Akira's will to live overpowers him until he turns into a devil himself, but also retains his human qualities. The anime expands its scope from there onwards and delivers one of the best anime masterpieces ever created on Netflix. Number 14, Akira. Akira is still hailed as one of the masterpieces that came out back in the day. If this didn't exist, most of the great anime you see wouldn't have had their inspiration. Akira happens in a futuristic world and follows Shotaro Kaneda, a leader of a biker gang whose childhood friend, Tetsuo Shima, acquires incredible telekinetic abilities after an accident. But these powers aren't your regular superpowers. Soon, Tetsuo becomes a threat to both Tokyo and the military among the growing chaos of the world. Rather than focusing on the potential of powers, this anime movie shows the repercussions of powers. For a 90s anime, it has some greatly animated action and some great directing as well. Number 13, Parasite. Alien invasions are nothing new, right? You see alien ships appearing in the sky and annihilating humans, but what if these monsters are smart enough not to reveal themselves easily? Parasite is an anime about a boy named Shinichi Izumi who discovers a strange species named parasites who take control of human brains. A parasite named Migi enters Shichi's body and as they fight other parasites, the two form a strong bond. This is the ideal show for action and mystery fans and you will be surprised by the twists the show pulls and the emotion it delivers. It may have a few action sequences compared to many others in the list, but when words are no longer an option and the fists start rolling, that is when the anime truly shows its potential. Number 12, Gintama. It is rare to see great action in a comedy anime, but Gintama is an exception. Not only does it deliver some great comedy with gags and parodies, but when the action parts hit in, it doesn't disappoint you with its samurai mixed action. It happens when the Amanto, aliens from outer space, have invaded Earth and taken over feudal Japan. Now, samurai in the world are kicked out and treated with disrespect, but among them is Gintoki, an errand boy with the heart of the samurai. His daily events lead to serious situations, but it doesn't take long for them to turn comical. As mentioned, Gintama incorporates both Eastern and Western concepts and also parodies tons of popular anime out there. So if you need some good laughs plus some great action, then this is the anime for you. Number 11, Black Lagoon. You may think since anime is based in Japan, it should give you an Eastern feel. But there are some action anime out there that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Western movie in terms of direction and writing. One such show is Black Lagoon. 
It follows Rokuro Okajima, who joins the Lagoon Company, a group of pirate mercenaries sailing around the seas of Southeast Asia. This anime is filled with guns, shootouts, suspenseful car chases, and a nice blend of mystery and gang wars to its fast-paced plot. The world soon expands beyond the little boat of the Lagoon Company, and the rock soon finds him in company with the most dangerous people on the planet. And to be honest, this is one of the anime you should watch dubbed. I'm not kidding, just check it out. But make sure to keep your headphones on because Revy's curses are enough to make your ears bleed and make a nun hit you with a yardstick. Number 10. Sword of the Stranger I spoke about this in my samurai video as well, but I really need to emphasize the action and the battle choreography of this show. Trust me, when it comes to samurai anime, there wouldn't be any show that could beat Sword of Stranger in terms of action. It follows Kotaro, a boy who is hunted by a group of Ming swordsmen, and finds a samurai named Nanashi. Nanashi has vowed not to raise his blade again, but soon finds it difficult when he understands his opponents. Among the group of people searching for Kotaro is a fearsome western fighter named Luo Lang, whose only desire is to find a worthy opponent, and in his eyes, Nanashi seems to be this opponent. Sword of Stranger is a must-watch if you are a fan of samurai and action. So, this should definitely, I say definitely, be on your watch list. Number 9. Tokyo Ghoul <laughs> Action shows wouldn't be complete without dystopian monsters, eh? Tokyo Ghoul happens in an alternate world where ghouls live among humans and survive on feeding on their flesh. The protagonist, Kaneki, gets invited to a date by a rather popular ghoul, and she has him for dinner. Like, literally, eats him for her dinner. Luckily, an accident prevents it, but in a surgical operation, Kaneki's damaged organs are replaced by ghoul organs, transforming him into a half-human, half-ghoul. The story then follows him as he gets dragged into a human-ghoul war. The story is both action-filled and psychological. You may have heard of the go-read-the-manga joke too often with this one, but I think the anime should be praised for its animation and directing. Number 8. Kill La Kill Kill La Kill happens in a world where clothes give their wearers superhuman abilities. This happens because they are constructed with a special material known as life fibers. Along comes Ryuko Matoi, a student searching for the killer of her father. She arrives at the Honuji Academy and challenges the rulers to fight her. She gets taken down but finds a costume named Sinketsu that gives her more power. Anime has a way of using its simple premise and lofty world building to reveal more deeper themes and issues, and Kill La Kill is one such anime. It may start off with a society that is divided to classes based on clothes, but soon, it will explore deeper themes and weave an interesting action story. Number 7. Mob Psycho I'm sure this anime doesn't need any new introductions, but just for the sake of people who don't know, here we go. Mob Psycho is written by the same author of One Punch Man and tells a story of a schoolboy named Shigeo Kageyami, nicknamed as Mob, who works with a detective named Regan Arataka on handling mysterious cases. Even though his nickname is Mob, he is actually a powerful esper with a great amount of psychic power. Similar to some others on this list, Mob's main goal is to keep his powers in check as well. But as he encounters other espers like himself, he finds it difficult to deal with them without reaching his full potential. Mob Psycho also explores the themes of loneliness, isolation, among its other themes, and trust me, this anime has got something in it for everyone. 
Number 6, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> yes, this is the show that originated half of the memes you see on the internet. Based on the widely popular manga of the same name, the anime tells the conflict between Jonathan Joestar and Dio Brando. The narrative is divided into several parts and the protagonist of each part is a member of the Joestar family, all of which possess a star-shaped birthmark above their left shoulder blade. The JoJo series manages to mix a realistic and rather dramatic story with its unique plot and setting. Instead of superpowers, here we have users who can channel their inner spiritual power into a significant energy form known as the Stand. JoJo has some interesting fight scenes that complement its unique power system, and of course, along with those fight scenes, comes out some interesting dialogue that soon gets turned into memes. Number 5, Vinland Saga. Nothing matches a good revenge story than Vikings. If you've read their stories, you know they weren't the best company to hang out with. They pillaged villages, murdered innocents, and pulled off schemes to get power. One of the victims of these actions is Thorfinn's father. He was a Viking himself, but due to the schemes of the cunning Askeladd, he met his death while trying to protect the rest of his crew. This drove Thorfinn mad, and it didn't take long for the boy to turn into a mindless killer working under the man who murdered his father. His only goal was to get strong and kill Askeladd to fulfill his revenge, and the story shows how hatred can corrupt any man until he turns into a monster. With the animation coming from Wit Studio, this show has some great hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes as well as greatly choreographed action to match the overall tone of this story. Number 4. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Bring in the two metal brothers because how can we ever speak of an action anime without mentioning this show? Brotherhood is a remake of the 2003 Full Metal Alchemist series and tells the story of two brothers named Edward and Alphonse Elric as they try to find the Philosopher's Stone, a stone that can save Alphonse. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has everything you could ask for. It has a lore filled with world torn by war, well-written characters, a mystery that gradually expands with each arc, and greatly directed action sequences. Each scene of the show complements the overall story, and trust me, there is a reason why many consider this as the best anime ever made. Number 3, Fate Zero. Among all the Fate anime out there, I think Fate Zero still stands as the best series ever created. Written by the famous author Gen Urobuchi, Fate Zero tells the events prior to Fate Stay Night and revolves around the Fourth Holy Grail War. You've got seven masters fighting each other with seven heroic spirits, but unlike the original Fate Stay Night, its prequel focuses more on concepts like heroism, utilitarianism, and deontology. Each character is fixed on their own ideals, which they are desperately trying to prove are right. And among them, you also got heroic spirits who realize their own faults in the past. A reason why Fate Zero excels in action is because of the well-choreographed fight scenes. You get to see each character's thought process when it comes to some fights, and others play according to a pre-established set of rules. If you haven't watched it, now would be a great time to check it out. Number 2. One Punch Man How overpowered can you get? Well, Saitama from One Punch Man can finish off opponents with a single punch. One Punch Man is one of the popular shows out there and you should have definitely heard of this one. It follows the daily adventures of Saitama along with his cyborg apprentice Genos and the various threats they face. 
They cannot even be called threats because most of them die after one punch. All jokes aside, this show is a parody and it does that parody really well. You've got subtle jokes, a protagonist who doesn't give a damn about what's happening around him, and some nice action to go along as well. What more could he ask for? Number 1. Attack on Titan I think there's no one who could argue that Attack on Titan is the best anime series of all time. And you'll only encourage this fact more if you have read the recent chapters of the manga. Its conflict of humanity versus Titans is intriguing alone, but as the seasons move on we are introduced to the secrets of the world, betrayals of characters, and plot twists that can literally flip the internet over 180. There's no anime that can be both compelling, action-packed, and well-directed like Attack on Titan. There are tragic character deaths, political mysteries, and even characters who appear as minor characters in the first season who get to play a bigger role in the later seasons. If you haven't watched it, then there's nothing stopping you. Get ready to binge watch nearly 60 episodes of Humans vs. Titans. So there you go, those are the 20 best action anime out there, and I hope you found at least a few you haven't watched yet. If you feel like we missed out on your favorite show, don't hesitate to mention it down below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and show me some support. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined us yet and want to see more awesome content like this. With that said, I'll see you in the next video, anime fans.